Before we start this video, I would like to clarify a few things. First of all, I'm not suggesting that you should always pick the Warframes in this video in Elite Deep Arc Media, as we all know that the new game mode has loadout suggestions and you will need to check almost all of them for you to get the highest possible rewards in the game mode. I'm sharing this video because, in my free time, I'm helping players complete the whole Elite Deep Arc Media run by carrying them throughout all the stages of the mission. Some players want to try out the game mode, but sometimes their loadout suggestion sucks or the modifier they have is too much for their setup, as they still don't have the necessary mod or combo setup up to counter the modifier. Hence in my free time, I'm helping out some players in the game mode and I would just like to share some of the Warframes that make the whole run easy mode. So first of all, let's discuss Revenant Prime and how good this Warframe is when it comes to team survivability. Among the three Warframes that I will show here, I ranked Revenant at number three because he may have a solid skill to make everyone survive in the Elite Deep Arc Media, but some players don't like the fact that they can't use mods like Rage or Hunter Adrenaline while this Warframe is on the field. If you are playing Revenant, then most of the time you will be going with a Mesmer shield setup that not only grants you those invulnerability charges but also five of these on your teammate. Basically if you have a setup like Nourish and the Zinuric Wellspring combo then you can always cast your Mesmer skin to give the charges to your team. With the Mesmer shield active you'll be immune to any form of damage and status effects. This means that you can just focus on killing enemies and completing the task of the mission. The only problem though is that tank warframes using Rage or Hunter Adrenaline will hate you for casting Mesmer shield on them since they can't replenish their energy while they have the invulnerability charges of Revenant. So basically they would have to rely on the Nourish plus is in Uric Wellspring, or even add Arcane Energize on their build for the energy restoration. However, if you don't use your abilities anyway, and I just want to finish the mission without dying, then Revenant's Mesmer Shield will be very handy in the mission. Now this doesn't mention much, but Revenant's Enthrall does help in terms of aggro control. In some cases, enemies will focus on an Enthrall target, instead of destroying the defense objective, which gives you another reason why Revenant is good for Elite Deep Arc Media Run. The only problem though is that, when there's a modifier that will decrease the duration of abilities by 75%, it will mess up this Revenant build, as this will will only give 11 seconds of enthrall duration. In fact, I'm just using the Nourish setup for energy restoration and don't bother adding more duration for the viral procs that it gives to my weapon. I rarely use viral in the Entrati tile set as most enemies are susceptible against corrosive and radiation in these missions. The good thing though is that Mesmer Shield is not affected by any duration and as long as I can regenerate my energy, then I can cast Revenant's second ability even if there's an energy loss modifier in the mission. Moving on, let's talk about Dante. Digital Extremes was fast enough to revert the nerf they did to Dante. Well, not actually revert the Warframe to original, but Dante right now is close to his original form and this Warframe is really good in keeping the whole team alive with his overguard mechanic. Casting two light verses, followed with his ultimate ability to trigger triumph, will give you an insane amount of overguard that will keep the whole team alive and just focus on killing enemies. Not to mention that his overguard has regeneration and with arcane energizings in Uric Wellspring you can cast overguard anytime to keep the whole team healthy. Another thing that I love about this Warframe is his page flight ability that has aggro control and in fact there was a time wherein I carried a Nidus and Mirror Defense Elite Deep Archimedia. There were only the two of us, and I was kind of regretting my decision to carry the dude since we didn't have the means to defend the target, and we could end up failing the whole mission. I was surprised at how good Page Flight was in crowd controlling enemies, and it gave us enough time for the target to survive and then run to the other defense target. The good thing is that Overguard is not a hindrance to Nidus right now, as he can regenerate energy using either Rage or Hunter Adrenaline mod, while Dante's Overguard is active. This means he can freely use his skill anytime he wants, especially since it was inefficient for him to gain energy through virulence, as he can't do the usual group and cast virulence combo to generate mutation stacks and restore energy per enemy hit by the skill. Aside from insane survivability and crowd control, the Warframe can also inflict damage vulnerability to enemies with his page flight skill, allowing you to kill enemies much faster with any sources. The only problem though is that you can't use your exalted grimoire often in the elite deep arc media, especially if you have energy debuff modifiers. As you all know, each shot will drain your energy, and I think Dante in the new mission is more powerful when used to support his team with overguard crowd control and vulnerability debuff. Most likely you'll be using your regular guns in Elite Deep Arc Media, but that's an already good trade-off considering that you can finish all stages even against the fragmented boss fight. Also, Steinex is great in Elite Deep Arc Media as the Warframe grants over guard to the whole team. Aside from that, you can also generate shield per kill when you have the Rally Point skill active. But the best part of playing Steinex in the Elite Deep Arc Media is that you can grant the team insane energy regeneration while the Rally Point skill is active. In addition, Steinex is literally a press 4 to win Warframe against Murmur enemies in the Elite Deep Arc Media title. Set. His final stand can kill most Murmur enemies in the mission, and while doing so, you can generate shield and overguard for the whole team when you have his intrepid stand augment. After the nerf to the Helminth version of Nourish, still Nourish Styanax is the most reliable build that you can use for this Warframe in both solo and team plays in the game. Most of the time, you'll be in the air throwing spears and supporting your team with kills and buffs that make the whole mission not just easy but also fun to play. I would also like to add noteworthy Warframes such as Weapon Master Gauss Prime and Pure Tank Corvex. Both of these Warframes don't give any team benefit, but they are great 
great because you won't see them getting knocked out in the battle, not even once. Corvex has high armor values that you can get a 90% damage reduction in your health through the full Umbral mods and the additional of Arcane Guardian in your build. Then, you can subsume Eclipse in your build to take advantage of the 75% damage reduction on both shield and armor. Aside from that, you can also equip the Warframe with Adaptation, that is damage reduction on a specific damage type works in both shield and armor. Uh, pair this with both Arcane Aegis and Arcane Grace, then with Corvex's ability to be immune from all status, and you can finish all the stages in the Elite Deep Archimedia without breaking a sweat. The best part about playing a pure tank Corvex in the Elite Deep Archimedia is that he is always healthy to help a down teammate, and even can provide good crowd control and defense missions because of the radiation procs that he can deal with his abilities. On the other hand, Weapon Master Gauss Prime doesn't have the toughness and team reliability as the Warframes I have mentioned earlier, but this Warframe is insane when it comes to durability and making almost all weapon suggestions viable in the mission. The Warframe has its kinetic plating ability, and all you need to do is mod for the high duration to get the most benefit from this ability. In addition, kinetic plating at max does make you immune to heat, cold, blast, and any physical damage types. Not to mention that every hit by an enemy to kinetic plating converts it to energy, which allows you to cast your abilities whenever you want. In addition, with a high duration build, you can maximize the full potential of the weapon buffs you get from his redline ability. With a good weapon, this Weapon Master Gauss Prime build is insane in Elite Deep Archimedia. Now, you can also say that these are my favorite Warframes to run Elite Deep Archimedia if they are available in the loadout suggestion, or I'm just helping other players complete the whole mission. I would also like to know your favorite Warframe to use in the Elite Deep Archimedia. Let us discuss it in the comment section below. Before doing so, I am humbly asking for your support by simply subscribing to our channel and then liking and sharing this video. This will help us please the YouTube algorithm and provide you with more quality content. Thank you so much for your support, and we hope to see you again in our next video. Squad Leader, signing off. Bye.